please tell us about your performance today and uh, how did you felt? Uh, yeah, I was uh, honestly before the competition I didn't know what to expect from myself because what I passed through the last weeks it was uh, just very tough to handle and uh, many medications, many uh, check, uh, RMI, and echography, ultrasound, many things like for the, this stupid kidney stone. And uh, my mind also was like a little bit up and down. Some days I was super excited and I say to myself like, let's go, I want to revenge. And the day after I was like totally dead without any emotion because what I have lost in uh, Paris, my chance to to get that medal that I was dreaming, it's something I won't forget that easy because I was preparing for it like in the best way possible. I was in a crazy shape and uh, I have done like every sacrifices that was needed, were needed to be in the best shape possible. So I'm just very sad about it and I'm a little bit happier today with the result. So I'm trying to I'm trying to just get over it, try to fight. That's why I'm here already, five, 15 uh, days after, because I want to go over that horrible feelings that I had in Paris. Uh, I can imagine. So since the uh, Diamond League finals in Brussels are just a few weeks away, uh, please tell us about uh, your expectations there and what we can expect from you. Uh, uh, luckily, uh, that's w- that one I mean, this year I had competed just in the Europeans and the Olympics because I had some some problems. So this was my first Diamond League. So I don't know about the points. Uh, I have another Diamond League uh, in Rome next week. But it's very difficult to get qualified for the final with just two, two Diamond League. Of course, today was good and I got the maximum points, but many opponents are out there. So. But right now I'm not thinking about the final, I'm just thinking to get over this bad feeling that I have inside. Try to be a little bit more happy again. And uh, I would like to also uh, ask you about your motivation behind you combating with the injuries and this upset. What is your motivation to move Uh, on and fight? What's the motivation? I mean, I'm that kind of athlete in my life, never, never, ever. Had give up. I lost the chance in 2016 to compete in the Olympic game. I broke my ankle 20 days before the Olympics when I was the world leader. Uh, of, of course, I was one of the athletes who was trying to go to the Olympics to win the gold medal, and I didn't even have the chance to, to compete there. I was with the cast watching my opponents, and uh, I started again after five months. And for five years, I never gave up one day, even if. I would never reach the level before my injury until Tokyo. And in Tokyo in the Olympic Games, I was feeling all the work I have done in that year. And uh, a magic result came out again and I won the gold medal. And from there on, I won the Europeans two times, the World Championship. And uh, this year I was the world leading again, the world leader again. and. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have the chance again to show up in the Olympics. I mean, I show up, but with the, a terrible day in the hospital, hours before the Olympics. So, I will not give up again.